You know guys, with Black Ops 6 arriving just around the corner, I'm not gonna lie, it kinda got me thinking a little bit more about Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3 now that we're coming to the absolute end of this game. As you saw a couple of videos ago, I talked about Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3 Season 6 and my thoughts going into it, and luckily I can say, once again, a lot of things at least, uh, never wrong, just early, okay? I mean, we'll talk about a few things that are very alarming, okay, about season six. But to be completely honest, guys, it started to get me thinking about where this game is finally gonna land in the all-time list now that this is essentially the last bit of content that we're getting in this game. And as you guys know how it goes down in the Call of Duty community, there's a lot of gooch lickers spewing a ton, a ton of absolute gorilla shit all over the timeline. A lot of fake hype, and a lot of overestimating about this game. But before we get into it guys, you already know what to do! If I'm not mistaken, we are just around like 200 subscribers off of hitting the big 30k. Once again, you guys are absolutely insane, so please, Leave a like on today's video, subscribe if you're new, and let's show Activision and all of these gooch slickers exactly what the fuck the Scat Master is made of, because a lot of people really don't want this to happen, but like I've said before, this shit's happening. Also, very quickly guys, we have a stream going up tomorrow and possibly another one earlier in the day on Saturday, where you guys can actually tune in and see me play season 6, and we'll have some live thoughts about it. And you already know, it's about to be a fucking party, so you're all invited. I hope to see you there, but check it out, guys. Season 6 of MW 2019 Part 3 finally came out, and honestly, this season has solidified Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3 as a top 5 Call of Duty of all time. We did it! <laughs> Psych. Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3, unfortunately, after Season 6, is still, still not that good of a game, and I'm so sorry to all of the gooch lickers out there, I completely understand that a lot of you guys are gonna have a very negative reaction to me doing this, but honestly, I don't really give a flying fuck. <laughs> Season 6, admittedly, is filled with a lot of insane concepts, a lot of crossovers that normally I would be against, but I kind of have a soft spot for the horror genre, and this Michael Myers thing, in my opinion, is actually pretty cool. Except for the fact that if you buy Black Cell, the only difference you get in Michael Myers is that <laughs> he goes from wearing gray to, for an extra 30 fucking dollars, He's wearing blue. Okay guys, this is not a troll, this is actually legit. The man becomes a slightly different shade of gray that looks a little bit more blue when you pay 30 fucking dollars for Black Cell. And once again guys, this is one of those things that is not necessarily Sledgehammer Games' fault, but instead it's on Activision because I would have no problem with Michael Myers wearing gray versus wearing blue if they were both just free earnables in the battle pass regularly without having to pay $30 for fucking Black Cell, okay? You guys know my thoughts on Black Cell. And also, like, charging $30 for this? Absolutely shameless. Completely and utterly disgusting. Activision, once again, double fuck you. Toe-sucking dick bitch ho! You booty booty bandit! Absolute goddamn losers, but check it out guys. A lot of people have been gassing up Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3, especially for Season 6. I mean, we have people like Doug Dimidome Warzone once again. The post-launch support for Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3 this year has been remarkably good. Shout out to Sledgehammer Games, you guys absolutely killed it on the live service content front this year. And even Charlie Gooch licking cock and ball slobbering, scrotum tugging, pube chewing intel comes out and says, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3 post-launch seasons delivered 18 new 6v6 maps, two remastered 6v6 maps, 18 6v6 map variants, two parkour maps, one war map, and one gunfight map. 42 total maps post-launch. Incredible post-launch season. And on the first glance, you might be thinking to yourself like, yo, Sledgehammer Games are the absolute goats. Well, unfortunately guys, I disagree. No! 
awesome. And it's not even necessarily to like backstab Sledgehammer Games or like just talk absolute trash to them. Let, let's just keep it a buck. Sledgehammer Games has had their fair share of absolute stinkers, okay? Just absolute putrid shit in their catalog. But if I am being fair, they did deliver quite a bit of post-launch content in this game. Something that we actually haven't seen all that much. Except, hold on, hold on, hold on. I still cannot give them credit for the launch of this game. Because when you launch your game with zero original maps, okay, let, let's take a look at this, guys. If they gave us 18 new 6v6 maps post-launch, imagine if they had never given us all of these remastered maps at the launch of the game. I would assume that they would launch their game maybe with like 9 to 12 original 6v6 maps, right? Like every other single Call of Duty game, or at least they should be doing it like that, leaving only only an extra 6 to 9 6v6 maps post launch if they had launched this game traditionally. But as you know, Sledgehammer Games was essentially thrown a freebie off of MW 2019 Part 2's foundation of a game. Yeah, listen! And all they had to do was up the graphics on a bunch of maps that have already existed and then make some other maps on top of that. In the grand scheme of things, once you zoom out of this gooch licking picture, it is not as impressive as people are making it out to be. Now don't get me wrong, once again, on the design aspect of this game, decision making wise as well, Sledgehammer Games is a million times better than Infinity Ward. That is my true God honest opinion. And as of right now, it is still up in the air to say, whether or not they're better than Treyarch. Because after what I saw in Black Ops 6's beta, that game, especially with some of the maps, are just... Oh God, guys, I do that shit like once a fucking week for videos. I need to stop doing that. Listen, this year, I will say Sledgehammer Games did actually deliver some pretty unique things. A lot of cool different game modes, a lot of events. A lot of concepts and ideas that I haven't seen before and a lot of the customization and a lot of the free maps and free camos that we got in this game were actually not half bad. And so I will give Sledgehammer Games the credit on that aspect, but in the grand scheme of things, it's still not to the level that people are making it out to be. I mean, we still have shit like this going on. Doug Dimidome Warzone tweets out, For once I wasn't tripping, to his own tweet saying, Modern Warfare 3 is a top 5 Call of Duty multiplayer game. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh... God damn you. Absolutely fucking faded. This is the thing, right guys? I don't want to be mean to Doug Dimidome Warzone, but there's so many times where this man just becomes the biggest crotch-eating gooch-licking moron, and he genuinely just becomes insufferable sometimes, even when I'm trying to be nice to him and be cordial to him. So right now, you know, Doug, let's tone it down a bit. Doug Dimidome Warzone, you are incredibly wrong, and may God have mercy on your soul, but I suppose I can be nicer. Fuck you, Doug! <laughs> now, this is the part of the video where the tone of everything is about to change just a little bit because while I do appreciate Sledgehammer Games for a lot of the good things that they did, I personally cannot say that MW 2019 Part 3 is a top 5 COD. I can't call it a top 10 COD. I still don't really know where it lands. I mean, we'll have to see until after the stream to see how much more I enjoy this game if I do. But when I start thinking about what my experience was in this game, there's a few things that come to mind, guys. First of all, the, the servers were so god awful, man. They were not good. The packet burst was not good. The amount of hackers and cheaters, <clears throat> actual Hackers and cheaters, okay? We're not just blacklisting the scad master from playing the beta because I was being too critical of you. Please! Please! No! We're not doing shit like that. I am talking about actual hackers and cheaters. There was a lot in this game, okay? I have a lot of footage of actual hackers and actual cheaters and people lag switching, people crashing the servers on purpose, people with god mode, people with aimbot. There's a whole long list of bullshit that went on in this game. And on top of all of that, when I was not having those experiences, skill-based matchmaking and EOMM were right there to fucking pummel me. <laughs> 
and this is what I mean, no matter how many MW2 original 2009 maps you remastered, no matter how many of the classic favorites are back, like Terminal, like Rust, like Scrapyard and High Rise, no matter how many excellent maps you put in this game post launch, no matter what concepts you have in here, no matter if it's Michael Myers or Ghostface or fucking Harriet Tubman, George Bush, whoever else you wanna put in this game, you could put me in the fucking game. None of those things matter to me for how dog shit the matchmaking was and has been in this game. Now I understand what's really going on is that a lot of these gooch slickers have Call of Duty in some way, shape, or form up their own ass, okay? No matter what is happening in this game, no matter what diabolically dog shit thing is happening, there are some people who will simply not see the other side of Call of Duty and they refuse to see it. <laughs> this is a problem because they want to ignore the existence of skill-based matchmaking. And once it finally gets exposed, then they want to shift the goalpost and talk about how it's not actually that bad or it's supported by the data and all this other bullshit. They want to bring up all of the crazy post-launch content that this game had without acknowledging that there was no actual content at the launch of this game that was actually made by Sledgehammer Games. They want to talk about how they're so excited for zombies and they only play COD for zombies, yet zombies in MW 2019 Part 3 can literally eat the lint out of my ass crack. They want to talk about, oh, I only play these games for the campaign. Meanwhile, this is the least rated campaign of all goddamn time in Call of Duty. Just because these cock slobbering and drooling content creators are all over Twitter and YouTube talking about how crazy this game was post launch doesn't make it a good COD. <laughs> In the same breath, however, just because I am telling you that this game, in my opinion, fucking sucks, don't just believe what I say. Test it out for yourself. And if you're not some reverse boosting two boxing or just absolute dog shit player, skill-based matchmaking will literally make you tired of this goddamn game. No matter what skin you're rocking, okay? You can have Black Cell if you want. You can spend $30 to out yourself as a fucking virgin. That's okay. Do what you gotta do, I understand. But when this game is failing and it's being hyped up by a bunch of false ass people on the platform, don't be surprised when you're playing the game and you get bored and you get burnt out because everything's stale. Guys, in the last like three months of this game, how many original maps have we actually received? Maybe one or two, I think. And I know that's not even entirely Sledgehammer Games fault, but I'm not just gonna call this game good because I appreciate Sledgehammer Games, okay? If Sledgehammer Games were my fucking family and they produced dog shit, in my opinion, I would tell them, yo, this is absolute dog shit. Admittedly, Sledgehammer Games has done a lot of things right. But in the same breath, we're in an era of Call of Duty where no matter if you're even trying to do the right thing, Activision is in the background ruining it. Yeah, now listen! You want a quick sneak peek at what the next video is about? I gotcha. Here you go. The point of everything here, guys, is just because you like Sledgehammer games does not mean, one, that this game was successful, it doesn't mean that this was a good Call of Duty either, and it doesn't mean you cannot call them out for the mistakes that they've made or else Activision have made for this game. This game is not a bottom Call of Duty by any means, okay? I've said this multiple times. It is the best Call of Duty that we've had since Black Ops 4, undoubtedly in my opinion. But guys, that doesn't make it a good Call of Duty game. It doesn't make it a top five. It doesn't make it a top 10. If you guys think I'm coping, these motherfuckers are like reverse coping, whatever that's called, that's what they're doing. And it's putting out a false image of this game where to be completely honest, I think their goal with this, and this might be a subconscious thing, I think what they're trying to do is hype up this game because they're assuming that next year's game is going to be even better than this game, making Black Ops 6 an even better game in the public perception before the games even come out. That might be super conspiracy of me, but you guys know I don't just come out here just whistling out whatever conspiracy I can think of. That's never been my thing. But I'm genuinely starting to get that feeling from a lot of these content creators that try to hype this bullshit up. And just to wrap this up, I appreciate Sledgehammer Games. I really, really do. And I know that's very surprising coming from me, but that doesn't mean this is a top five Call of Duty or a top 10 Call of Duty by any means at all. <laughs>
But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all this. What are some of your final thoughts about MW 2019 Part 3 now that Season 6 is out? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos, and uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.